You want to start, bud? Detroit Rock City. No, you. I don't like passing the buck. Why don't our guests start? Matt, who are you? What are you doing here? Why? I don't know, man. I mean, like, I, y'all picked me up. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'll answer Just that for you. Me like, hey, you Why you're on the show is because you never asked to be on yep. the show. Okay. Anyone who asks to be on the show is immediately not on the show because that's a red flag for it's us. It's just like life. If you show initiative, they don't want you. We don't want you. No one likes a brown noser. <laughs> exactly. We like the lazy stoner who has a cool vibe instead. Yeah. Yeah, All you need is a vibe. I think tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta have a vibe and an aura. That's all you need in life. Yeah, the aura is just the weed. His thing. aura. <laughs> He's got a real aura about him. Isn't it? It's just gonna it's smell. Got, it's just some guy walking around with shit in his pants. He's got a real aura about him. I don't know what it is—a musk, a musk, a scent, an odor, an aroma, a lauden. <laughs> he is a lauded about him. I like that guy. <laughs> what a, what a I guy. like how he just stares blankly at walls. You know, it just maybe he's thinking about something beyond our imaginations. It's I like just, his beady little glossy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> just ever so slightly pink and red. <laughs> he's just huffing glue. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got the bag. Like, what is in that bag? What is in that bag? How many lives does this man live? <laughs> <laughs> what stories can he tell? <laughs> so profound. So what wisdom profound. does he carry in that so little paper bag? So profound, yet so simple. Yeah. <laughs> so elegant, but yet so, so simple. I feel like I understand him, but I also feel like he's from a different galaxy. Yeah. Let's start a GoFundMe for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he has any money. <laughs> Is he homeless? <laughs> His penis is out. <laughs> and he's approaching me. It's like, wow, that's what I think of the government. <laughs> it's symbiotic to something. Yeah, so our co-host Faz is down in Florida, and he's already, if you're in Florida right now, Faz is already there preemptively stealing the election for Joe Biden again. If you are a real patriot and you're a Trump supporter in Florida, you know what to do if you see Jake Fazilari. Let me just tell you that. You know what to do. It's a shoot That's not a threat. I'm telling you what he's there to do, and you know what to do. I know there's a lot of you in Florida. If you find him, a little skinny Italian with black beady eyes, you know what to do to him. Take care of it. If you're an alligator in Florida. (laughs) If you're an alligator in Florida, (laughs) eat our co-host. You get a one-time immunity pass. <laughs> Remember when the alligator ate the kid from Disney? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? I yeah. vaguely remember that. Well, give me the a kid rundown. was like sitting by a pond, and the alligator just snatched him the fuck off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. At the campgrounds kid. or whatever at Disney. Yeah, killed. that's that's brutal. And then they're like, "Well, I mean, what, what can we do?" Yeah. Imagine I mean, yeah, they, that, that place is built on. Like, imagine an being a parent swamp. being like. Fuck, I gotta work overtime, take my fucking kid and my wife to <laughs> Disney. I don't want to be here in the first place, and then your kid gets eaten by an alligator. You know the dad. Like, I would look at my wife like, I told you. <laughs> like, what did I say? I told you something we bad was going to We could have went to Allegheny, but no, no, we had to go to Disney. <laughs> It was definitely a pass so we could play, like, PS3 when he got home. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was smiling He's a little gaming. bit. He's gaming. He's doing the Ralph Cifaretto <laughs> from Sopranos when um, the woman he's with, her son gets killed, and he's like, rolls his eyes at, like, the wake and just turns on football and just sits <laughs> down and watches it. It's my spirit animal. It's kind of what I do at wakes. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm at a wake for a long time, like, I'll go into, like, one of the side rooms and just chill for a little bit. Oh, yeah. How <laughs> if there's a TV, I will turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I pay my respects. Like, I, don't, I mean, like, I'm, like, I was sad for a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to chill now. Uh, yeah. It's like, let me vibe. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> Ooh, new law and order. No one, wants to see me, no one wants to see me cry for, like, three hours straight. No. I can't maintain it either. No, that's a long cry. Yeah. What, am I going for an Oscar here? Come on, guys. Like, yeah, seriously. It's like, <laughs> let me just watch, like, Whatever the hell three channels this TV has. <laughs> <laughs> I, like a lot of the times it's the weather channel too. So. <laughs> and I'll just sit there and look at weather for the entire I'll, like place they'll never be. It'll be like fifty eight cold, front, cold front going through Topeka. Would not want to be there. <laughs> it's like a little chilly over there. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> While the grieving mothers in the next room. <laughs> Someone better pack sunscreen for Florida, huh? 
So you're old now at 26. I am old now at 26. How do you feel? I feel like I have a year of my dick working. I feel like 27's when ED starts. You'd be surprised. It could end at 21. Bro, it can, yeah, it can end whenever, man. I know, but can now it's a real possibility. Yeah. At 21 for no reason. <laughs> no reason at all. No reason at all. <laughs> Just out of left field. God then, knows how that started, but nope. And then come back inexplicably for and a few days. And then come back for a few days and get yep. a false During sense the of full hope. moon. <laughs> during the full <laughs> moon. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever had pubes was during the full moon. <laughs> I feel myself changing and then like one hair grows out of my balls. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Kill me with a silver bullet! I don't trust myself! <laughs> they do, bud. Scratching the walls. Scratching the walls. Jake, what's wrong? I'm an animal! <laughs> I can't. That's that. You gotta go like on the side like it. <laughs> I can't. Like, you gotta like, almost pivot like, horizontal from your mouth like this and go... <laughs> Oh, Ooh. okay. There you go. That's that probably the coolest thing it? I've ever seen. I don't think I could do it. Your lip, yeah. yeah. Lips are too fat. <laughs> I was an OT in preschool. <laughs> 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 I can't do that. I was in special. Yeah, ed you want to talk about you drinking beers in high school and then in the special ed bathroom? Yeah, just I was telling him. Me and my buddy that used to do it, we were talking to other kids in high school. Mm-hmm. They're like, "Why were you drinking in school?" Every day at 9 a.m. Well, we what would else go- are you going to do? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're on the pot. We would go in the special ed bathroom. We would have three Miller High Lifes. And then we always had a bottle of Bacardi in the team room. <laughs> Was this high school? Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and then I would go home. <laughs> Yeah, when I was fat. <laughs> yeah, you missed out. I got my high at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> it was lunchtime at DiGiorno Pies. Yeah, me. that was me falling off the wagon. That hour before mom came back, whew, how much could I cook up before she notices and she still gets me dinner? <laughs> I would just, like, in high school, I would just kind of, like, dissociate throughout the day. I would get home, just, like, pound out, like, like a six pack of beer and then like half my you know mom's vodka or some shit then like played Star Wars Battlefront 2 until I go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> so like that's what high school was <laughs> Battlefront 2 was sick though yeah it's coming back is it Battlefront 1 and 2 are coming back in the collection released in March like the like the OG ones the OG by, uh, ones oh. it's not really like remastered like the graphics are kind of the same but they're just doing it on a new system I mean I already have it on the computer so I mean I still play I'm it I'm my day. PS4 over we could mm-hmm. fucking kill a week, two weeks, month. five weeks. I might month. take the month off of work. I might take a year off. <laughs> For Star Wars Battlefront 2, yeah. One time I got blackout drunk in high school. I, I beat the whole campaign. I don't remember it, but I had, just, <laughs> I had just installed the game on my computer. And then, like, what, like I started playing it, like, after I had been drinking. And then the next day, I remember waking up and going to, like, start the campaign. And it showed that it had already been completed. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you already did Order 66. Why would you go back and want to kill more like, young the, ones? The last thing I remember is the first level you're on Geonosis. The last thing I remember is just jumping around the map as Mace Windu, just decapitating droids. And <laughs> then after that, nothing. <laughs> I can never play video games when I was like drunk, drunk. That's no. the only game I could play when I was Actually, drunk, apparently. <laughs> Black Ops Zombies, I could do like blackout <laughs> drunk. I did that for a while. Yeah, I feel like I would just keep going down. Or I would ride yeah, the train. Too. I mean, I suck at zombies sober, so I'd yeah. probably suck even when I wasn't. I was alright sober. I was alright. Because me and Luke had to run. We, we used to like do Ascension together. We reached like level 42 and like pause every now and then to get food yeah. and then go back and just sit on his brother's bed and game and then pause and get food <laughs> and i'm like that's our entire day yeah and i'm like zombies take what a, a waste day. of an existence Bro. we used to spend like entire summer just sitting in the basement playing it <laughs> oh yeah i remember um that, that one on faggot's name who um had uh, <laughs> the thing upstairs and we would play video games there Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went over to his house like a year or two ago. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's like the same. <laughs> Is he still gaming? 
Huh? That's all he does. Oh yeah, that's literally all. That's all. They, that's, that's all him and his friend group do. That's sick. that's how he gets his kicks. Yeah, I mean he's actually like he's going to school for something and he's like doing like an actual job. But but like, his high is gaming. His, yeah, but his freeze times like he literally spends at the exact. Same that's home. his vice. No, I I don't understand the it game. It was kind advice. of uncomfortable being. There. I'm like, damn, this is like, I, this is, it's been five years. Since it's been like back yeah. in like high yeah, school. more more power to him. But like, I'm just I, yeah, I don't no. do that. Like, I don't. No. I'm not that dedicated anymore. No. I play a game like for a couple hours here and there when I'm yeah. Uh, I don't game at all. At least when I hang out with people now, it's about getting fucked up. <laughs> Which will I ever grow out of that? Maybe. No, you're socially doing it though. Yeah, but yeah. we're socially doing it. we're, yeah. we're having a good time and we're yeah. going out. Yeah, yeah. and. Rockville. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says on the mic. I just saw it. Rockville, Massachusetts, baby. <laughs> yeah, we got to induct you into the Church of the Loaf, brother. I want to be um, in the Church of the Loaf. Listen. Lesson number one, keep your receipts. <laughs> and we ain't talking about people trap your actual receipts. Every receipt. Every Life receipt. is a lemon. I want my money I back. I want my money back. That's your homework. You got to listen to that. I love it. <laughs> That's lesson number one. Okay. You know where your seats. cathedral is? Where's the church at, brother? Easy question. Easy answer. By a river? I'm oh, sorry. The garage. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It's in the garage. <laughs> I do have a dartboard to add for the garage. That's going to go I like perfect. your initiative. That's going to go perfect in the church, buddy. Dartboard, pool table. Yeah. Definitely invite, um, like... Your son's friends over to drink with you too. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you get new members. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you get uh, younger. That's why VFW pubs like fail. Yes, because they don't. They can't get younger. They can't get any more veterans. The Church of the Loaf. <laughs> Church of the Loaf. Younger. Yeah, you introduce them to good music, <laughs> shitty facial hair, shitty hair in general. No luck yeah. with women. That's not. No. That's not happening. Just <laughs> more, power, more power to you, but yeah, no luck. Yeah, no. But like one or two, right? Um, you'll get like a bar skank. Are we allowed to lie about it? What? Oh, you lie your it's ass off. Not necessarily off. that you just can't get women to stay once they meet you. They just yeah. Once <laughs> once the first time hits, and they see what you're all about. No. Yeah, let me show you my record collection in the garage. Like, this gonna... album rocks. <laughs> <laughs> You want another beer? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I was I talking about sick. her, me saying this to the hype, the hypothetical wow. girl, because I'm never getting a woman back to my garage to experience the joy. It's because you don't have a futon in there yet. Oh, That's true. we do need a futon. Yeah, you need a for futon. It. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna> be- <laughs> <laughs> you need a futon in there. One of those white plastic chairs Ooh, that breaks very chairs. easily. Yep. Folding tables. Nah. No, you have. You need to have like a wooden milk you need crate or one something. Wooden, yeah, you need one <laughs> table. wooden table, and that's that like a is. wooden, like you know those like old spools for like cable yep. and yeah. shit. You need one of those in a milk crate. Yeah, oh, that sounds perfect. Yeah, yeah, that is that is your altar. And a single light bulb hanging. <laughs> <you see? laughs> that's your altar right there. And no you ha- string, you got to turn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys want anything from the bar? And it's a shitty old beat down fridge. That you moved into the garage. It's like I- a salvaged gas station ice cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and that has the shittiest beer you can imagine. Yeah. Rolling rocks. Rolling rocks. That's at that's the top shelf. That's top <laughs> shelf stuff, buddy. Come on now. Is it like no bottles or just all cans? Cans, There's bottles. all cans, there's no shelves. In <laughs> <laughs> it's all stacked up. Listen, you save your cans too. That's another rule. Yeah. Because that's money back. I think it's the only money you'll get back in this life. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only honest day's work I ever worked was bringing my cans back to Wegmans. <laughs> only time I ever got a payday from the man. <laughs> yeah, complain about the government constantly. You may or may not be on government assistance, depending on your garage level. But we need more government assistance. Uh, yes, we do, but we complain about other people. Because they're getting it, and we're not. We're not getting their share. There is a slight racist edge to the uncle (laughs) to the uncle loaf. Yeah, but it's very slight. It's slight, but it's there. I don't remember there being a racist (laughs) edge. It's just, it's just a little. It's a large atmosphere. I don't want to undercut you as a founded member of the loaf. Is this going to be our (laughs) skiz? There's undertones. There's there's a couple undertones. (laughs) Elaborate. 
Um, no. <laughs> no. I feel like if your neighbor moves in and they're a little different, it's like, ah, neighborhood's going to shit. <laughs> what happened? Neighborhood used to be a lot nicer. And you, like, glare over at the <laughs> They haven't cut their yard in a week and a half. <laughs> oh, you keep track, but you don't cut your yard either. No. <laughs> you do it like once a month, maybe. No, I'm out there with a the scythe every day. <laughs> <laughs> I maintain a strict height. Well, that's why you get the high school kids in, because you could pay them like in two beers to mow your grass for you. I don't let those punks touch my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Stay funny. away from her. <laughs> get your hands off of her. <laughs> Ask them about their mothers. Oh, yeah, you always check if the moms yeah. are single. Your mom's still seeing Tim? <laughs> <laughs> Just slide over. She's like, so yeah, who's your mom seeing these days? Who's your mom seeing these days? <laughs> Boy, she was a My look- dad? Oh. <laughs> she was a You're look- not welcome here. <laughs> Boy, your mom was a looker in high school. Yeah. <laughs> I could have hit you it. What. I could have. I could have. I could have. Did I tell you I was on the lacrosse team for a season? <laughs> I sprained my ankle. Kind of fell off into different things. Yeah, Slowly. sprayed my ankle. It was the first practice. <laughs> <laughs> Branched off to other things, smoking cigs. <laughs> Listening to good mu- good tunes. Yeah. Good, yeah. Music. good music. Good music. Bob Seger. <laughs> I can't even. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. I, not Bob Seger. <laughs> You're not into the Bob Seger grind. I tried to get you. I don't, I don't really know about Bob Seger. I played him for I can't. A while. I cannot verify that he's... Bob Seger's like a horse girl, too. He loves horses. Maybe I do. And he Bob only Seger. talks about fucking in high school. That's what his songs are about. Oh, yeah, maybe that's, that's when he like peaked. Was he peaked. Sophomore year of high school. That's yeah. what Night Moves is all about. That's oh, we're I... barely 17, and we're fucking in the back of my car. Yeah. See, I peaked in the opposite direction there. I was like, phew. <laughs> 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 no, Bob Seger didn't continue to get pussy like Meatloaf does. Yeah. I feel like Meatloaf can get like a bar hag. He's up there from your yeah. local getting pussy. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> love you, King. Yeah, from his local neighborhood dives dive spot, he could get yeah. like a bar hag. You know the bar hags. Where he walks into one of those beer and shop places, like oh shit, yeah, he's here. There he is. Dude, there he just goes to a, no, all he's got to do is go to a karaoke bar, man. <laughs> <laughs> just sing, just like sing a completely different song. He would nail it. He would nail it. But now he can't because he's dead. Clear out the dark. There's karaoke he's in here. heaven, I bet. No, he's in hell. He's got to fight the devil. There's karaoke in hell. <laughs> he's, he's in hell. <laughs> There's karaoke everywhere, man. That's why it's hell. <laughs> hell is just a karaoke bar with a bunch of white women singing. And he's winning. <laughs> they have to sing against him. <laughs> oh, damn. You ever think you're going to go to hell? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had for that. You want me to open one? Yeah. I'll open one for my old man. Get one for your stepmom, too. <laughs> I can get my own. <laughs> it's going to be around the house more, okay? <laughs> all right. Okay. Her and her stepkids that are just <laughs> terrible, too. Don't talk <sighs> shit about my kids. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking of karaoke in hell right now. No, it's got to be the worst. What music are they playing? Taylor Swift. I was about to say Taylor Swift, like uh, Carly Rae Jepsen, I feel like's big. Yeah. Call Me Maybe is good. But song. not Call Me Maybe or uh, It's Always a Good Time. It's like the rest of her album. Yeah. Like the ones that no one knows. Yep. <laughs> They're like, ugh. L-M-F-A-O. They had a good... Party rock <laughs> in the house! They say, yeah, they released party rockers in the house tonight, <laughs> then sorry for party rocking, then they disappeared off the face of the earth. The one guy did med- <laughs> They said, here we are, sorry, <laughs> bye. Sorry, bye. <laughs> the one guy has a meditation album out now. Oh, rad. I'm not listening. Why am I listening to a meditation album? From... <laughs> LMFAO. <laughs> my meditation, a couple Budweiser's. I gotta garage, look this up. Hold on. And I throw on my. Tunes. I want to see this. This. This album. Didn't they bring Lil John back though? What? Who? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh, did we record since the Super Bowl? What do you what think about I, that? What was I? Oh, uh, LMFAO meditation, Thanks. right? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Is it like when Snoop Dogg came back, Snoop Lion? Oh, yeah, it lasts Something's like a month. Yeah. Oh, he quit weed. Yeah. No, he's but He back. quit smoking. No, yeah, then he's back on it. It was like... A, it, was an ad, it was an ad for a grill. 
or a uh, fireplace. Yeah, a smoke-free smoke fireplace. This, yeah, that's why. They, oh, know, okay, right. cool. And, and that company lost All a right. ton of money. Dude, the world, <laughs> off the, ad. the world felt so empty when I thought Snoop stopped smoking. Oh my god, there's riots in the street. <laughs> like I felt like a husk, but now that brings me joy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nothing came up, but I'll find it eventually. Dead air. We need time. to find it. It's not dead air. We're doing research. You can cut this. What? I might have been wrong about that entire thing. I, was I might have just made it up. I... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I made it up. I think I made it up, you guys. You said it with confidence, though, so I respect it. Why would you believe me? Why would you, you especially, why would you believe anything that comes out of my fucking mouth? Because they fell off the face of the earth. They had to be doing something. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty tired off of that money. You get millions off of that motherfucker. I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, but they're body rocking. That money dries they're bored. up quick. <laughs> and yeah, and millions. Oh, we should all pitch in and buy a jet ski. Ooh, a personal water for the church. <laughs> the church of the loaf. Tax church free. Loaf. Yeah. Oh, we, we're tax exempt, right? Also, Kenny Powers. We don't have the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're still working on that. Matt's got to talk to his guy in the IRS. He met him back in the Army. We got we to gotta work that out. I am technically a minister, but... <laughs> but... <laughs> I forgot. <yeah. laughs> Not through the Church of the Loaf. No. That's a different <laughs> that's ministry. St- that's step two. <laughs> to get your sainthood, you yeah. need, like, at least crabs. They can only at least crabs. <laughs> at least crabs. <laughs> we can work on that. No, you need it's, you need three different STDs if you want to be a saint. Yeah, oh. that's true. Three different. I knew Saint Teresa was a whore. <laughs> no, no, no. In the Church of the Loaf. I don't oh. know. What, I don't know what the Christian standards are. But. Teresa's a dirty whore, though. Teresa was getting around. I think she would. I mean, I got a hunch. I know a guy. Didn't she work with people with leprosy? She would have died. Exactly. She... Three STDs. You bang yeah. one. That's I'm, true. Is leprosy an STD? It should be. <laughs> it should be. I think that's worse than I mean, an STD. I think technically What's it worse, is. What's worse? Waking it... up in the morning being like, I caught chlamydia or yeah. shit, I'm a leper now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can't go back. Some, there was I some... go live in a cave. Oh, no, because my... she went on like a mission and did like some, it was some really bad infectious disease like that. Oh, my piss hurts or I got lumps on my face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking the burn and piss, brother. I'm definitely yeah. taking the burn and piss. Yeah, three sure. SCDs to be a member of the Church of the Loaf. Okay. No, no, to be also a saint, that, not a member. Oh, yeah, saint. Also, that beard, goatee. I'm going to have to shave it. It's got to be... Uh, Hair's got to be longer. Can I just go soul patch? You can yeah. do a soul patch. I was thinking, see this like little triangle patch right here? Yeah. Well, it's kind of... I shit trimmed it, but like I was thinking about just trimming it all. It just looks, looks stupid, <laughs> but I found it be funny... <laughs> I thought it'd be funny for like a week or two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As a bit, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. You just come it. over one day and you just have yeah, I gotta, I, patch. I gotta let my beard grow out again because like there's like this little patch right under my lip that grows out in, like a triangle, oh. so I could get everything else and just have that with like a bushy mustache. I would look so stupid. You should say no words about it either. No, just yeah, it. just like, never acknowledge it. Do it like start wearing a jester hat too. It's <laughs> 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 like what? What's going on? <laughs> Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, bro? Am I allowed to be bald for this if I can't grow long you hair? You could be, you're either bald or you have shitty long hair. Bald with no shitty, between. like, what about mutton chops? Oh, yeah. You can absolutely have can mutton I be chops. Bald? I, I, can, I can grow mutton chops. You should absolutely go for that. Go for the mutton chops and the bald look. Yeah. I could do that. We can accept it. <laughs> Not if just you bald. Like, if you only look... bald on the top. You go like a tonsure, <laughs> oh. but like with the middle out too. So like you just have like the sides. Yeah. Oh, that'd be beautiful. With the mutton chops and just like. A shiny dome. Yeah, you kind of have to look like an 1800s president. If yes. Part of the <laughs> That's, look, 1800s politician. Yeah. I could do that. American politician. <laughs> How do you feel about slavery, bud? Whoa. Um, <laughs> I mean, I grew up in the north. <laughs> <laughs> Good but, start. But I, but I visited the south. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been to the south, too. I haven't, uh, done enough, <laughs> I haven't done enough research on it, Jake. I just need to see every side of it. Yeah. I've it's seen, a bunch of he said, she said, said thing, you know. Man, I've seen the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. I think we're on the right side. Uh. I lived there for five years, man. They, uh, it's just like cooked into their culture, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, it's just ca- they, like people are just casually racist in the South. I'm not even kidding. Oh. Like, casually, casually, like, not even joking. Racist, yeah, like, just like, racism. like, like, every last person, like, the last person you'd expect, like, a grandma will drop the N word, like, some <laughs> random game. Where, like, dr- everyone says the N word down there. Jeez. It is so crazy. Jesus. 
Jesus. They're not even doing a bit. <laughs> they're, no, no they're, that's just how. They, like, well, that's just rural Georgia. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sure, like Atlanta. That's just the suburbs. Yeah, that's just yeah. That's like where I was, like outside of Atlanta. Is pretty much the only real city. Like Savannah is, is too, yeah. but it's really gentrified and shit. But. It's just like Atlanta versus the rest of the state. It really is. Yeah, you kind of get that. Feeling. Who do you got in a fight? Atlanta or all of Georgia? Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta, right? No, I got Georgia. They're vicious, man. Are they? <laughs> there's way more guns in the world. Like, there's like so like this gun lot. You can literally just walk in and buy a gun in the most places. There's gun yeah. shows where people will be like, "Yeah, we'll just sell you this if you pay in cash. We won't fill out paperwork, and you can just take this now." Like that's how it's it's crazy like that. Sounds kind of nice to me. Georgia is up there for like uh, highest population of people with guns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the number one state, though, Montana. Sixty-four percent of people own guns in Montana. Only, like, actually, no, I take it. I think there. Atlanta. Like, actually, I've been like in the places outside of like the rich people, which is like maybe like ten percent of the city in Atlanta. Yeah. No, I think Atlanta could actually hold its own against the entire state. I'd take the hood in just because of the population disparity. Yeah. yeah, I'd take the hood in Atlanta because there's a lot of guns in the hood of Atlanta. Oh, uh, <laughs> <I'm back. I'm laughs> a lot of a lot of good raps come out of Atlanta. I've heard about it. It's a, it's a pretty, I mean, it's it's a city worth visiting a few times, but, like, I definitely, I for sure would not want to live there. 100%. No. It's just, I mean, traffic's terrible for, for one. <laughs> and the yeah. traffic. There's, like, no public transportation. You can walk a lot of places if you live downtown, but that's probably really expensive to live downtown. You're an hour from Birmingham, Alabama, though. Yeah, but Birmingham. I've always wanted to live in Birmingham, Alabama. I wonder why. I actually don't think I've I been to Birmingham. Pee. No, I've been to Auburn. Go pee. Keep not it up. Birmingham. Keep going. Keep Wait, going. what? Auburn, Alabama? Yeah, I've been there. That's not really fun. Is it as racist as they say in the textbooks? So I've literally driven past, like, functioning, like, up-to-date, like, KKK lodges in the <laughs> south, in Georgia and Alabama. Like, it's, they're just there. Like, they're just, like, out in the open. They're like, just completely accepted. In Jesus a lot of places. fuck. It's still alive and well. Yeah, and, like, rural, like, rural, I mean, they're not, like, like, out in your face, but, like, once you're in rural Georgia, the, the lodges are just out in the open. They're yeah. still flying, like, the stars and bars and stuff. <sighs> I know Arkansas is big for it, too. I've seen a lot of videos of, uh, what was it, Harris, Arkansas. Harrisburg, Arkansas, or whatever. They call it the most racist state. Yeah. Out that direction where you get a lot of where, like, there were, like, sunset towns, which are, like, towns where, like, after sunset, like, the cops mm-hmm. will turn an eye to, like, you know, racial violence. Everything. You could do anything yeah. there. There's a lot of that in Georgia, too. But, I mean, for the most part, Georgia's recovered because Georgia is, like, there's a lot of, like, African Americans living there, so. Yeah, I feel like that they have a really good college football team always helps. Like, I feel like that changes. They do have, Georgia does have a lot of good college football. <laughs> and, like, even a little Alabama, Especially, I feel like that changes some people's minds. And, and it, helps the, it helps the culture heal. It's like, God <laughs> damn it, DeAndre Swift is good. <laughs> like, you know, maybe they're not all bad. <laughs> There's some good ones there. It is crazy how, like, into college football Southerners are. They will, like, track people from high school into college yeah. through their professional careers. Or, like, Texas. They'll like, stop watching after college, though. Once they get, like, drafted by a team, they're like, all right, whatever. Don't they care. make too much money. They shouldn't fucking talk about their problems. <laughs> yeah. The suddenly turned off, the kneeling fucking ruined them. Those yeah. communities now hate the NFL <laughs> after that. Absolutely. One of my fir- like one of my first relationships I had was with someone from the South. His stepdad was like super into college football, and he literally brought up. He's like, "I used to watch NFL, but then they started all that kneeling crap." And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, ayo." <laughs> that's such a conversation ender. I was just like, "Yeah, oh yeah." I mean, like, I just watch it, and then I was just kind of like awkwardly explaining how I just kind of just follow the Bills loosely, just because I'm from Buffalo. And they're like, "I can't do it." They're like, "Yeah, I can't. It's just too much." <laughs> like, I'm just like, "Okay." <laughs> after the kneeling, my grandpa one time picked me up from college, and he had a sheet of paper, and he's like. This will change your opinion on the NFL. And it was a full like sheet of paper and printed out. It was just said, Ray Rice beat his wife, Antonio Cromartie, nine kids, eight different women. And that was <laughs> that was his evidence. <laughs> you see why I don't like football anymore, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really specific reason to not like football. But um, what was I going to say? One of my former coworkers once came up to me, just like, he was just like this older guy. He was just like, I think I know why there's animosity between African Americans and white people. I'm like, oh yeah, do you? <laughs> like, you think? Elaborate. <laughs> I was like, what do you think? And he went on like this spiel about like he went on like some really racist, <laughs> some really racist shit about how like between like 
Homo sapiens and Neanderthals like down that kind of oh, line. Oh no! I'm just like no. I think I think there's animosity because like 60 years ago they weren't treated as people <laughs> legally. No, <laughs> like that might be why there's a little animosity there. It's like they just skip that part. <laughs> yeah, they just like you just completely overlook that fact. I'm just like this was in your lifetime, dude. I like when I like when they like they're like. If they don't like it, why don't they just move back? <laughs> it's like they're not here by choice. <laughs> it's like you're missing the point. Like yeah. you know how they got here, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not. That <laughs> no, Jake, to catch you up. Yeah, sorry, that was very disrespectful of me in my own show. You're good. We're talking about racism still being alive in the South, and college football helps it a little bit. Roll Tide. <laughs> 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 Stole that from Shane Gillis, but yeah. Roll Tide. <coughs> I love this joke where he's like, if the trans community wanted uh, like more respect, it's like all they have to do is feel the team to beat Alabama. <laughs> them girls, them girls are real good. Oh, you're getting into uh, Tim Robinson now. Yeah, that would actually, that would that would heal all the problems. It would. Yeah. If the trans you, team beat Alabama. If you form a team that could beat Alabama. Yeah. You're into Tim Robinson. Right? I am into Tim Robinson. He's one of the funniest in, people on the planet. We're getting him into Tim Robinson. Okay, cool. And that's going to be the gateway drug, I think, to get into Tim Heidecker. Yeah. Do any is, do any of these Tim little Robinson. fuckers come out of the Wait, wall? Wait, who's Tim Robinson? I think he should leave. <laughs> okay. In the Detroiters? I, Wait, no, I said I think he should leave right now. <laughs> no, who's Tim Heidecker? <laughs> Walk out the door. I, I get him mixed up. I got fit in. You get them all mixed up. All the Tims are the same to you, huh, All Matt? the Tims, all the You just said how you lived in the South for five years yeah. and all the Tims just blend together. I'm sure they do. Tim McVeigh? <laughs> Tim McVeigh. Tim Hasselbeck? They're the <laughs> same? They're the same? No. Tim Duncan? <laughs> Where does it end? <laughs> Where does it end with you? <laughs> no, but... Timmy Turner. Oh. Timmy did, from uh, South Park. Which one's Tim and Eric? I That's was... Tim Heidecker. Okay. Tim Robinson's the, uh... We're all trying to find the guy who did this. <laughs> oh, with the hot dog suit? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I was a piece of shit, shit. though. Used to be. I said was! <laughs> Sloppy steaks. <laughs> Sloppy steaks at Trafani's. I gotta put a face to Tim Heidecker. Think... They said no sloppy steaks, but they couldn't they stop us from getting a steak and a glass, glass of water. water and pouring it all over them. <laughs> the Ghost Tour is my favorite, favorite sketch of all watch. time. Oh, you get in the Club Aqua? <laughs> right. This is the adult tour, so we will allow slur- swearing. Like, I could say horse cocks and cum <laughs> shots. <laughs> He's just asking questions the whole tour. Do any of these little fuckers ever come out of the wall <laughs> with their big horse cocks and, like, dingleberries? <laughs> We should be able to watch a little porn at work. <laughs> <laughs> no, we yeah, love it. Like it's like a slow day. Yeah. It's like a slow day or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How much could I really do at my office job? Give yeah. me like 20 minutes. It was an average office workers work like one hour a day. Oh, it's barely <laughs> yeah. any. It would, be two, it would be two and a half with a little bit of porn. With a little bit of porn. Yeah, it'd be a little, a little bit a little of motivation. Bit. Tensions would be lower at work. Oh, there yeah. won't be as much workplace drama. I'll tell you, I'm a little less pissed at Sheila if I could jerk it to <laughs> two black trannies beating the shit out of each other. Oh. Not even specific. sex. <laughs> I feel like that's not even. I feel like that's not even porn. You're just watching violence. I don't jerk off to sex. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let me it. just say that. Emily, that should just be the name of the episode. I don't jerk <laughs> off to sex. Yeah, we could have that as the name. It's at her scratch and sniff. Re- we'll have you back on. We'll fill in that void. You could time. just come on full time. I do live here mi- We do have four mics. We have four mics. We might as well. we'll, we'll- you checked the boxes. You showed no initiative to get <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> Check. You're everything we're looking for in a candidate. No initiative. I'm literally not willing to drive here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's this perfect. Too, this is way that's too what, far for me to drive. I don't like driving far anymore. It's a hassle for us to get here, too. <laughs> he doesn't drive either. <laughs> yeah, so I you take his car. car. Yeah, I make Ben drive. Ben drive. Right yeah. That's how I got roped into this fucking thing. All the boxes are checked. All the boxes. No initiative. No resolve. No planning for the future of this podcast, which is important. We'll, dr- <laughs> we'll drink beers on set. We'll, we'll get Check. drunk on set. Check. Check. I like the energy drink, too. Check. Oh, yeah, that's for later. Check. Monster <laughs> rehab. Yeah, it's like the it's like the tea iced. It's like Arnold Palmer, but monster. Why is it rehab though? 
Because you drink it after you, like, get Are you still getting over that heroin thing? I'm kidding. That was a joke, folks. I've not tried heroin. Hit the link in the episode description to get 25% off your first purchase at CB Distillery. There is free shipping on orders of $75 or more. There are gummies, oils, chocolates, drink mixes, bombs, and even more chocolates. You can shop by benefit, too. CBD to help relax, for help sleeping, for pain relief, and it's even good for your pets. There's new Delta 9 THC gummies available in states where it's legalized. Hit the link in the episode description and, or in the Instagram bio at Scheme and Dream Pod for your merch, such as hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, bucket hats, anything you want. Or you can check it out on snacks by se slash creator slash teespring.com. And if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Two in the Cooler, <laughs> email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how you can start reaching thousands of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. Fuck large companies. We'll keep that. Come on, that was a goal. That was a goal. I, I feel like Austin Butler is going to be playing Elvis in his head till he dies. Austin Butler, I don't think it's really a good. He's going to be in Dune Part 2, Matt. Who's Austin Butler? I just know him from the Elvis movie he that I never Elvis. saw. I never saw. But he's going to be... In- <laughs> <laughs> I never saw the movie. I don't even know what, what Elvis movie. <laughs> he's going to be in Dune Part 2 as uh, Fre- Freya? Fre- Freylord? I don't know why they're redoing Dune. David Lynch nailed it. David Lynch did nail it. That was a great movie. Hollywood just wants to fuck up every good movie. Yeah. They made it dark and gritty for some reason. Yeah, that's just like... I've. David Lynch was so fun because it's just... It's just it's Nonsense. out of this world. It's crazy. I like the floating head baby. Stings in it. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you do enough drugs that you can fold space and transport. Yeah, like if you yeah. if you if you make your bloodstream and the air you breathe this drug, you can fold space and fly, and you can like take an entire cruise ship sized spacecraft to an, another to planet across the galaxy with your brain by getting you're high. wickedly high yeah. off this shit. Yeah. <laughs> And that was, you know. That was doing. That's that was it could happen. I could not. No. I'm trying to embrace solutions. I'd be a space skilled navigator for sure. You just, definitely would. Yeah. I would just be in But a, it'd be like a Winnebago. You'd be transported <laughs> with four people in it. Yeah, I'd be like one of the ones that like joined the guild and went rogue with the yeah. spice supply. I'd be like, Matt, why are we stopping another inner space <laughs> fast food spot? Don't uh, question the I navigator. <laughs> 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 Thinking of space fast food now. What would they have in space? <laughs> Carl's Jr. and Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one in person, so I assume they're all in space. I would eat like a. Top. There used to be one here. The what Carl's... a space fast food place? No, a Hardy's or a oh. Carl's Jr. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but there's never both. <laughs> there's never both. Well, they're the same thing. They're just named in different. Just space. like checkers and rallies. Checkers and yeah. rallies. But they're I've never, never in the seen same rallies. Cities. Rallies I've never is seen in the Midwest. One. Like for rallies Midwest in the Midwest, but checkers is in like the Northeast. Yeah, and the South. And the South. The South. The South. Okay. Now yeah, South. it's the same like. <laughs> thing but they just name it differently for some reason because i don't know they're trying to fool the retards in the midwest i don't know how that works yeah, well that's that easy word. to do brother <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not, not hard about that no they are literally exactly the same like everything is the same the yeah it's the, the same menus company. are the same the, literally the, the only thing company. that changes is the sign is the name i've driven through the company. midwest and never seen a rallies you've been through them where's well, you've been, the you been in the midwest drove the I drove into kansas Kansas is like flyover. Kansas state. is the west. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> but you drive through Ohio, and then you got like Iowa, Ohio's Nebraska. Hell, that's different. Nebraska's not the Midwest. What are you talking about? It's a Midwest Valley, like Indiana. I mean, Indiana, yeah, you know, Illinois, you drive through Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Yeah, those places that are like closer to Canada, the South. Like once you're in that, that's just like the West. I've driven through Indiana, the South. Yeah, yeah, we've been to Indiana. Indianapolis. Indianapolis. That's where rallies. Indianapolis. There's, you should have passed the rallies because. I was There's too young. I was focused on Sonic. I wanted my 2,000 calories on a milkshake. We did have to go I to Kansas. I fucking loved Sonic when I was a little bit. Sonic it's was... Good. When I lived in Florida, we used to, like, every Sunday go get milkshakes. I would also get, like... They roller dog. skate them out to you? Yeah, the tater tots, like, all the burgers and shit. Mm. It's like a movie. Just get, like, five corn dogs and just be like, yeah, I'm <laughs> fat as hell. <laughs> <laughs> they did make a mean I'm fucking the, corn dog. I'm in the third grade. I'm fat as hell. I'm just, like, <laughs> dogging these corn dogs, slurping down an M&M milkshake. Life was good. Boy, what is health? <laughs> <laughs> no taxes. <laughs> no tax either. No tax in Delaware, Matt. Yeah. Like Not at all. No tax. No tax. And we found a Chinese spot. 
We find two a big t- plates. No, not even property tax. Well, we didn't buy a home there. No, <laughs> we were only there for the weekend, sir. I'm saying, if there's like no tax period, I'm going there. Tomorrow. No sales tax, at least. No, okay. yeah, no. And the guy, tax the, the, you know, he talked like this, man. You know, yeah. I'm from the, I'm from like the Maryland area. You know, go birds. He talked like this, the Uber driver, the entire way. Yeah, we haven't gotten snow here the entire year. Go birds. Go birds. <laughs> they shut down the city for four inches, which four inches in four fairness inches. That's is the storm fucking, they had over the weekend. It's fucking huge. That's actually huge. too big. Whoa. Four inches is way too, too big. big. Probably like an inch and a half maximum. I was gonna That's say, a little too big. Two inches could have did the same thing four inches does to a city. Yeah, on the other side <laughs> of the road, four inches is too big, right, Matt? Huh? On the other side of the road, four <laughs> inches is too big, right? Uncomfortable, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, you know. Well, we I guess to... depending on who you are. But... No, 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 In general, in general, if you want to get back on the show, mister, you will say four inches <laughs> is too big. And one and a half with proper amount of girth and... Sw- it's not even girth. They're swollen. And that's sweat. better. Nah, and that, it I've, sweats I've a lot. I've met some dudes with some pretty loose buttholes. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> but they would have stayed tight if they were just stayed with the four inch rule. No, exactly, for sure. Yeah. They stayed with the four inch rule. Now they're uncomfortable. Yeah, now that, that now they can't. But like, what do they do now? Now they gotta wear a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish my business and get out of here. Just punch in real quick. <laughs> punch in, punch out. Punch, punch in, punch out. out. Take a lunch in between. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Here's the tip. Bye. <laughs> Let me take my cigarette break. <laughs> punch in, punch out. Yeah, I gotta have a smoke. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's how grinder works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get more. You get a lot of matches on Grinder, right? You there's, guys are just you don't really match There's no on matches. Grindr. You just message. You just message people. You do? Yeah. It's just that simple. Yeah. And yeah, you don't there's really a lot of horny do... old dudes on Grinder, so yeah, you get a lot like of horny you just old like dudes. if you're on there, you're gonna get like fifteen messages of some like forty year old's butthole. <sighs> why can't forty year old women message me on Tinder like that? Why can't Tinder yeah, just real. adapt? Yeah, why can't Tinder if Tinder was like that, it'd be perfect. Being straight sucks. <laughs> Kinda does. It really does. I feel like a kid, like I'm well, just kicking my feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that it doesn't suck to not be straight. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> we are in the promised land right now. We need to adapt. I've been trying to with these trannies, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to. You're slowly working I'm in. I'm working in. Listen, I'm getting out of the ocean for a couple quick breaths on land, then I'm going back in. Yeah, then you dive right back. My um children's children might be able to um <laughs> lay eggs outside of the ocean and, you know... Maybe develop half gills, half one things. Okay, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, my children's children are going to be manatees. <laughs> they're going to be in the ocean, but manatees. they breathe oxygen. I was thinking tortoises. Manatees no, don't... manatees. They're going to be large and lumbering. I don't think manatees breathe oxygen. They do. do they? They're mammals. They're sea mammals? They're mammals. They're mammals. Yeah, they no, were... my children are going to be slow and lumbering and just float all the time. Mine they're are going to be walruses. They'll have tusks and look tough. But yeah. they're they're fat. They're fat. You got fat blubber though. You ever see a polar bear try to eat a walrus? Yeah. They can't. No. They're like a good thick fat. It's a good defense system. They're a good fat. It's like a thing of life. Like get fat. When people talk about <laughs> it's healthy- natural armor. No, one- <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna fuck with you at a bar if you're too fat. That's true. Because that right hand's coming. And guess what? They can't. You break just gotta step that into them. You just gotta. You gotta get them with the tusks. <laughs> you gotta get them with the tusks. <laughs> <laughs> Tuss in a right hand. It's a staple of the fat community. <laughs> Just bear hug him and sit. <laughs> <laughs> like he's not going anywhere. <laughs> Ben, you gotta get off the guy. The cops are coming, and he's just like, purple. he's just like, I can't. I can't. It's like I need help. I need help. <laughs> I just kicked the cord. That's all right. Oh, you're good. Good. Is that all right? Is the audio still going? Yes. Okay. Cords are meant to be kicked. I keep drawing him this cap. I've been playing with. Rules Very are. <laughs> what is it? Rules are meant to be broken, okay. and I want you to remember who I am. Rules are meant to be broken. Isn't that like a gay song? Goo Goo Dolls? It might be. <laughs> it's definitely the Goo Goo Dolls. Goo Goo Dolls, isn't it? Or the way you were singing it was the Goo Goo Dolls. You mean the way I was singing? I can't sing. You were singing it gaily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've adapted fully. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I need that. 
this is an important step in my development that's happiness. Yeah. Well, your brain doesn't fully form until 25, so you got time. You got time to figure it out. What? Yeah, I got the rest of the year to figure it out. Yeah. I just fucking totally figured it out. I'm 26 now. Thanks. Have you? I guess. <laughs> why did you uh, eat? Why were there crumbs in front of the toilet? Dude, you told me. First of all, I'll defend Why'd myself. Why did you wake up so late? I, w- I was sleeping. You said I have to be out of the shower by three o'clock. Why you wake up is because you're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. E- I had to. I had to yeah. combine crackers, pissing, and showering in five minutes. Are you eating my oh, okay, saltines? Okay, so I was eating your saltines. That's half my diet right now. Well, get more saltines. Adapt. I'm doing. Uh, I need to get some saltines. They're cheap. Yeah. They're cheap. I'm going back to a saltines, eggs, and tomato soup diet. I've yeah. already dropped. Seven pounds, and I'm looking to drop another 20. You're going to have Christian Bale in the machinist body real quick, bro. I'm getting back to that. I already I have get, I, I'm back. on a grilled cheese, Ooh. mini bagel pizzas, raisins, <laughs> goldfish, and Pop-Tarts diet. <laughs> what about, is, is the raisins and goldfish together, I wonder? <laughs> Yeah, so what I do is like I pour the goldfish <laughs> in this little cup thing that I have, and then I pour the raisin on top, and then I shake it to mix them, and then I eat it like that. What about the flavor is appealing to you? Because I don't think those two mix. I don't have to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a peanut butter. Like, and I'm sorry, burger. I didn't know this was Nuremberg here, <laughs> yeah. Jake. I'm not in an intervention right now. <laughs> no, but no, grapes and cheese go together, and they're just dry grapes and dry cheese. I feel like if somebody put grapes on a ar- cheese I don't sandwich, think I... I would kill them. No, I like have you ever had like a like a little platter with like Chicory. little grapes and like little cubes? of Yeah, cheese? but I'm thinking of a grilled cheese sandwich with grapes in between. But he's now. not grilling. Oh, no, I don't put it on the grilled cheese. I'm I, just ca- put it I was dough. against Matt. Now he's won me over. I'm for it. I believe you, but. Although not, I, I believe wanna... you, but I'm skeptical. I am. I'm just thinking of grapes on a sandwich. My, You're, my brain, I'm thinking my, about grapes my, on a sandwich, too. My brain goes right to sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> we, we skip the hors d'oeuvre section. I, I'm, th- I like... That's your thought I like process? Your yeah. what Here's I call something sandwich to sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> How do I apply it to a sandwich? Jake, say anything right now. Um, Gabe Davis is leaving the bills, and he's going to get overpaid. Sounds like a shit sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there it is. <laughs> yeah. An overpriced sandwich for Gabe Davis. Dude, definitely. Sure. Definitely. I took Matt to I uh, hate overpriced sandwiches. Oh, me too. Sandwiches well, are fuck. supposed to be like the working man's lunch. They're, They're so pretentious. I was $19 there. for a fucking pesto sandwich? It's like, no, give me a sandwich yeah. for $2 and I'm going to dog that shit. Put Go some back turkey. To work. Put <laughs> some fucking government cheese on. <laughs> All right, Mark Wall. Put, put a pickle, put some ham, put some cheddar. Yeah. Put maybe, some cheddar on there. Maybe toss it on in a maybe skillet. Maybe put for on like a powder poop. Yeah. Toast it as some toast shit. Put up. some mayo. Give me that and let me dog it. <laughs> 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 Let me dog it in front of your wife right now. We're dogging Sammy. This is how a real man eats a sandwich, not this bum Billy you married. You could have had all that. But guess what? Billy went to college, I didn't. I learned how to eat a sandwich instead. I bring my lunch pail to work every day, brother. I know how to eat a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> man, I could use a sandwich. <laughs> I love sandwiches. I want a sandwich now. Sandwiches are great. <laughs> like the best it's an way Ameri- to eat food. Yeah, it's American <laughs> staple. It is. They didn't exist before America. Yeah, Chris Columbus brought sandwiches they didn't over. Exist before America. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They were invented by a British. Uh... No, no, British they weren't. Not. No, oh, they weren't. Fuck you fucking take that back. This, this is British propaganda. I'm sorry. Actually, I agree with Matt. Now, is this is British propaganda? You both are dirty Irish and Scots mixes. You guys are heathens. Who? To me and I just you. We, we have the so same you. blood. <laughs> but you don't acknowledge your English half like I do. Neither do I. And Matt's, I actually, and Matt's I mean, Polish. <laughs> it's disgusting. Whoa. You're Polish? Yes, <laughs> Templakim Kurva. Krupnik? You should see the slime that keep. You should see the slime that accumulates around his bath drain. And that's just he's he's just washing the Polish off of him. And he can never scrub it off. Whoa. No matter how hard Matt doesn't tries. know how to screw in a fucking light bulb. <laughs> yes, I do. I was an electrician for a little bit. Oh, I'm sure. In <laughs> Poland? What did sh- you do? Plug in a no, nightlight Georgia. for those people? <laughs> to calm their nerves. To calm the Polish nerves. From the ghosts of oh, Hitler. Oh, no. Germany might invade again. Matt has to screw in another nightlight for <laughs> us. <laughs> I'm picturing him in the shower like a stainless steel scrubby just getting the Polish <laughs> off. 
I'm not ashamed of my Polish identity. <laughs> well, you should be. <laughs> Why? I don't like Polish. <laughs> I don't like the well, yeah, you're, yeah, because you 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 strongly identify with British. I'm English, Irish, and you Scottish. You were talking shit about the British in the car. Yeah, I mean, we wanted I, to burn that British bar to the ground. And then I tell said, us about the troubles, Jacob. And then I said I would <laughs> side with the British too when push comes to shove. Yeah, I am a weak need. We're I Canadian don't... too. I'm Canadian. We are Canadian. We're fourth, right. actually. We're That's less. also uh, <laughs> third generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're third generation too. Yeah, we are. Your grandparents? Ma. Yeah, my grandma lives yeah. in Canada. Staunch my grandma's Canadian. from Nova Scotia. Ooh. Is she from Ontario? Yeah, right across the border. Yeah. Nice. Nova Scotia's cool. I've always wanted to go. Yeah, you want to go now? Isn't that where Bieber was from? Or am I pulling this out of my asshole? Oh, uh, no, that's where Trailer Park wow. Boys was for- filmed, though. Was it really? In Nova, Nova Scotia? Scotia? <laughs> that's why I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to I mean, live my life. I know life my with... family's from there, too, but. <laughs> I just want to live my life like Julian. I just always want to have just that have drink. Just have a rum and coke in my hand. <laughs> Never spills, either. No. no. Literally no. always always upright in his hand. <laughs> Mr. Leahy, <laughs> I, I think I, I would get fat again and become Randy. <laughs> I, would, I would follow a fat, I would follow a drunk guy around all yeah. day. Just the Viagra yeah, burgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would either fall into a Mr. Leahy routine or Bubbles routine where I just like have a bunch of cats and like, <laughs> steal and shopping, shopping cars. cars. <laughs> Bubbles made the show. Yeah, Bubbles is fantastic. He was the, he was the back, he was the... the what the hell is that thing? The, the cornerstone the of the backboard? Yeah. The cornerstone back, of the community. Backbone. 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 You backboard. You can come up with a backbone? Yeah, so I switched the analogy to the cornerstone. Cornerstone works too, though. Yeah. You can't have a rim without a backboard. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was thinking basketball for like a hoop. You I can't have a rim without a penis when he said that. It's all the trannies talking. <laughs> the on- one didn't have... Okay, but... You're on land, brother, now. <laughs> I'm still in the ocean. They didn't have penises. Not that you could see or, or properly acknowledge. Let me just say that. I'm skeptical now. You know what I mean? I'm in the ocean. I'm swimming to shore. I'm looking. I go back in the ocean. Stay in the ocean. <laughs> I see you on land a lot <laughs> while I do my research. Just a little bit. Just here and there. Family listens to this. There's nothing wrong with a little girl dick here and there. <laughs> 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 Matt's right. I'm gonna listen to. You should listen to Matt. I wasn't my gay friend over here. I had some on Monday. Yeah, how honestly. does it feel? To, wait, hold <laughs> on. Let me lie. just let me do this because I know you're a fan of Kevin Durant. Matt, how does it feel? As I'm a not game? a fan of Kevin Durant. No, he is. Oh, Matt, how does <laughs> He's it feel? Player. Matt, how does it feel to get more pussy than Kevin Durant ever did? Even though he won two NBA championships. Seeing as I before before this year, I hadn't gotten pussy. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> and he, and he, listen, fucking. I'd only been with men before, or people with, you know, not vaginas. Yeah. So you're having the a, others. You're having a 2024. Yeah, I said, right I, said, now. I, said, I, said I said, I said New Year's resolution. This. I want to be with, you know, every option. When there Matt is. played, Ooh, when, that's fucking <laughs> sick. Huh? Listen, that's fucking let sick. me just say this: when Matt played for the fucking Washington Wizards and got eliminated every divisional round, he didn't fucking switch. Yeah. Over to the next best team and win two rings. It didn't mean anything. I think you got the wrong guy. I don't know what you're talking about. Do we I can't the dribble. Washington Wizards? I'm super uncoordinated. I can't. Yeah, I but can't that's what made you a good basketball player. Because no, I thought this what? guy's too retarded to guard. Yeah, it was like a Hoosier story. What's he going to do with the bo- ball? Oh, he threw it to the ref? No. What's he up to? King of the bounce passes. King. Fundamentals. Bounce pa- fundamentals. Bounce fundamentals. It's all about the fundamentals. <laughs> I don't like the way the Like, I literally couldn't now. even, like, shoot, no. like, a, like, stand, like, run in the middle three points. Too many probably. dunks too now? Too many dunks. No. Nope. Bounce pass. Bounce pass, pass to a to a mid range jumper. Well that's how you made that's how you made the playoffs is just you guys just pass the ball. A yeah. Lot. You can only score like four games. It never touched it never touched the other team's hands, but like, And you we played had good one, defense. 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 Yeah. defense and passing the ball. We shot yeah. one three pointer at the beginning of the game, then we just went to pure defense. <laughs> 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 then we won. Throw a little two three zone in there. Yep. All right, they guys, don't know how to act. Th- they didn't know what the fuck to do. You'd win like sixty games on close games, low scoring. The games you lost, though, just get blown out. Hi, yeah. I keep looking at it. Why do you keep looking? That's on me. That's what. <laughs> yeah, that's the cap I was playing with. Give me another one. All right. How about a please, huh? 
Yeah, right? I asked him for the magic word earlier, and all he did was gaslight me and eating saltine crackers in the bathroom. Because you did. I did. I didn't have enough time. You put me on a time constraint. Why'd you wake up so late when I worked all day? I was sleeping. And by working, I mean taking eight poop breaks, staring at my computer, being like, I don't think I can get this done by the time I have to leave. <laughs> I, I, I worked and four. that's how Fridays are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I worked three and a half days this week. That's a lot, actually. And I have four day weeks personally. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, I'm a strong advocate. I think I've watched that four I got four day weeks. You should do four day <laughs> week. You got four day weeks, but it's every other Friday, right? I got four day weeks and two of my days are half days. It's like the best work the schedule f- I've ever had. I work at the SPCA part time. I gotta fucking go over there. Dude, that's awesome. All I did, like today, literally all I did was sweep and mop. It was chill as hell. Oh, and you get to see dogs? You, all the the day, and you're encouraged Tell to pet them. Tell them about the mini horse. Oh, you're allowed to pet them, whatever? Yeah, like when they're like, being, you're encouraged to because it helps them socialize. Yeah. I'm yeah we also have a horse there. He's 30. Let me fire up that Indeed profile I got. Just cut like. Like, they're always, like, there's, I, I guarantee you. Tell them about like the jobs. horse. Tell them about the little horse. Ben. His name is Zylord. We have, like, his, a what, ho- Wait, what's his name? Zylord. That's With a his fun. 30-year-old horse. He's, like, one of those little draft horses that was, like, Ooh, used for, like, mine carts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. I'm just picturing him in a Budweiser commercial. <laughs> <laughs> He's chill as that, like, you could, like, talk to him. Like, when I, I went, like, during that snowstorm. <laughs> you could talk to him. I have good conversations <laughs> like, with Zylord. You, you like, I went over there during the snowstorm to help shovel the barn out. Uh-huh. I was like, you want to go outside, Zylord? And he gave me the most, like, like fuck you side eye I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. And he's like, I don't want to go out in that shit. Do you ever just go up to him after, like, a rough day and it's like, man. Today sucks. <laughs> Mondays, just, am I right, Zylord? Just, just riff to him about the work week? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm not feeling it today. Then Zylord just like look at me. I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I got to be strong. <laughs> we had a pig, but someone adopted him. Oh, he was awesome. Does that suck when you have like a cool animal and someone adopts him? No, because I, we always like screen the people who adopt him, and they're yeah. always really cool people. Oh, okay. we fair enough too. then. Yeah. But it yeah. does say it's like, oh, I'm gonna miss saying hi to like letting him like almost eat my fingers off every day because <laughs> pigs will literally just eat whatever you put yeah. in front of them. Well, that's why people like used to like in the old west they'd kill people and they throw them in a hog farm. They'd eat the bones. Yeah. There's that one movie where the the dude does that and he's Irish or something and Brad Pitt's like a, a pikey. He was oh yeah, Brad Pitt is a pikey. He's um, like snatched or something. Snatch, snatch. Yeah, snatch. It's Guy Ritchie. Yeah. Jason Statham's in it. Ooh. And he... he Their action in it? Jason, yeah, the main Brad Pitt's a fighter. Oh, of course. And, and Jason Irish Statham, gypsy. yeah, goes to get Brad Pitt as a fighter, and he knocks people out in one punch. Well, Jason Statham's always a fighter. But he's not. He's the manager of Brad Pitt, who yeah. is the fighter. Wait, so Jason Statham isn't a fighter in a, in a movie? Mm-hmm. He's the With manager. With Jason Statham. He's the man. Brad he knows Pitt's how to fight, but he's not like the guy in the ring. He I didn't manages think that's Brad, Brad Pitt. I didn't think he ever had range. I thought he was just straight to Netflix... He in was a funny. Liam Neeson he was, type role. All right. no, and those, there's another one. There's like Lock, Stock, and something. Or Lock, like, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels is the first Guy Ritchie movie. That's then another one. That was pretty funny, too. Pretty funny. Those two those two are actually pretty solid. And then the rest of Guy Ritchie is like, what if a uh, British was anything. gangster and he was cool? <laughs> what if a British man uh, drank a bourbon and he smoked a cigar, but he was a gangster and he's cool? It's like British gangsters aren't really that cool. No. They're it's like, cool if they're trashy. They're not cool if you're trying to be like... British gangsters have <laughs> higher ethical standards than British politicians, That's historically what, yeah. speaking, so it's not really that much of a concept to explore. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. No. It, it goes still. <laughs> Ever watched The Long Good Friday? No. We should watch that. It's What's on that HBO about? Max. Um, it is a British... Bob Hoskins. Great little British actor. He's dead now. He got the cancer. Thanks. Got you. But, um, yeah, he plays a... Uh, Helen Mirren's his wife, and he's doing like a deal, and people are like trying to. It turns out it's the IRA that's picking off his British London organization. Of course. And he's trying to get to the bottom of it. Who keeps killing my best men? I'll keep saying. <laughs> I don't know. And, probably those people you've been fucking over since you, you know, existed. Oh, yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't imagine any political or social divides in the United Kingdom in 1980. Yeah, I wonder but no, who. <laughs> but his number two, Matt, is a guy who's like bald and both. Like long hair, and he has just a scar over his eye. The one eye is dead. It's just a scar over his eye, and he carries a knife that never called? speaks. Long, the Long Good Friday. That sounds like a character or something else. Oh, excuse me. Gassy man. 
It's but always... no, British gangsters can't be that cool. No, they don't have guns. Yeah. Knives. Yeah. It's all knives in the UK. What makes the Sopranos so cool is because they're like, I don't know, lazy pieces of shit. It looks kind of funny. <laughs> well, white white <laughs> beater gangsters. It's, it's, it's funny, way more it's interesting funny interesting how scummy England. they are. <laughs> like Chris not take. Like tipping on a weight bill, and then he winds up killing the waiter because he complains. He about tipped it. him like seven dollars. Seven dollars on a fifteen hundred dollar bill. Yeah, someone could have gotten hurt. Paul, he's solid. Oh, oh! <laughs> Go piss it away on blackjack, you fucking assholes! And you're like, oh! And Chris throws a brick <laughs> at the waiter, and he is having like a seizure, and he's like, Chris, he's fucked up. Paul, he took, takes two looks around, just plugs him in the chest and runs away. That's my money, Paulie, as he's stealing the bill from him. <laughs> That's New Jersey right there, though. Oh, it's great. I was saying in the car, yeah, the right? Two, the two best documentaries on New Jersey are The Sopranos and Aqua Teen and Hunger Aqua Force. And Aqua Hunger Force. Aqua Teen Hunger Force is what's going on in South Jersey. Yeah, yeah. that's what's going on outside of like, yeah. the mob and stuff. Where's the Jersey, Jersey Shore fit into this, though? That's the best reality show. Yeah, that's a reality show. Okay. But it's the best reality show. That's yeah. like the, that's the whole yeah. trinity of Jersey shows yeah. right it's there. The big, <laughs> it's the big three. <laughs> yeah. Sopranos for your drama. Aqua Teen oh. Hunger Force, the lab, and then... For, like, you know, your slice of life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so freaking tired of this. Just, so go freaking, away. just go away. Just go away, you freak. <laughs> I love that. Just, Carl, are you home? And just, the lights flick off, and he's behind his couch. I'm so just, tired of this. Carl. I'm so freaking tired of this. Just go away, you freak. <laughs> Carl. Carl. And oh. he friends him for a sports training. <laughs> hey, yeah, you! He's talking to the waitress. I want 50 wings extra hot and keep the ranch coming. I'm going to be fought in blood over here. <laughs> he just has like a whole pile of wings. And a pitcher of beer. And uh, Frylock's like, you're asking enough wings? And he has like three full sacks of bones. He's like, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> and he gets another one. He's like, no, I'm just getting started here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Carl. Yeah, no, Aqua Teen Hunger Force would be like if you lived in South Jersey. Yeah, I could say. That's where I would live in Jersey. Personally. You would be like a meat wad. Because you're okay. a dumb piece of meat. <laughs> I'll take the meat wad. I'm Master, hey, I'm, I'm master Shay because I go on nonsensical rants and I've never really had sex, even though I say I do. And then Matt would be Frylock. He's a smart black french fry. <laughs> <laughs> This is a cloner, Shake. Stop using it. <laughs> Who's Carl? What? Yeah, who Who's is Carl? Carl? Carl. Emily? <laughs> <laughs> so you can be Carl. Uh, you're Carl. Yeah, she is. I'm so fuck I'm so freaking tired of this. Just go away. Go away, you freaks. <laughs> I'll take the meat wad. Yeah, the meat wad's, meat wad's my favorite character. Meat wad's the best. <laughs> I can't do a meat wad, but I just love how he only yeah. turns into a hot dog and he's literally just a slab of meat. <laughs> I like the one time for like the um The Moon and Knights? Yeah, the Moon and Knights come down and they get him like They try to cash a check at seven eleven. It's like we don't cash checks here, Master Shakes. Well I don't respond to s threats <laughs> Why don't I try to go to your country, Espanol, and try to cash a check there? No Checo Casho. He's like, well, I'm actually American. Well, good. I'll be in. I'll be in. I'll be in Mexico trying to cash your check, but you won't be able to cash it because you'll be here. <laughs> Just makes no sense. It's like we don't cash checks, right? and it wasn't even a check. It was like a bill, and it was like the super whole... radioactive. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Bible. This says Bible, man. Oh, what you reading now? <laughs> 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 this says Bibble Man. What you read it now? <laughs> Shit like that. That's why this show's fun. Oh, it's the best. It's like anytime I do psychedelics, I feel like I'm just seeing Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, that's I was showing. Yeah, yeah, you. That's were what your it. brain is like on acid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what. That's what the brain. That's is how like. you communicate with the world. Yeah. You become. You turn these into creatures. one of those four characters. Yeah. Yep. I feel like Carl's like Pay my voice of reason. <laughs> He's the devil on the show. Carl shoulder. does not want to do it. No. And that's why you kind of need that voice in the back of your head. It's like, why? Why are you why? doing this? <laughs> oh, I didn't me. know you could use my pool. <laughs> I like how they're always in his pool. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, yeah, I didn't say you could swim. I yet. didn't say you could swim <laughs> my pool. I saw the one episode where they were building like the clone and he would just rape Carl. 
Oh, uh, ham, ham banana. banana. Ham <laughs> banana. The balloon dog. <laughs> ham banana, meet the enforcer. <laughs> Yo, we got a lot in common. We come from the same DMA. I'm going to rape you now. He's like, <laughs> like, Yo, you're the only other person I met with hair on your toes like that. <laughs> you know, we got a lot in common. You, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you uh, hear ham? I like when ham bananas raving Carl, and then like Frylock just rolls down the window shades. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ham banana was fucking amazing. Ham banana is hilarious. I love it. The one where he's um, they do the um, flash fried cow. And then they dump. He's got the huge deep fryer so, in his lawn. <laughs> and they're like, "You're guy." And Carl's like, "This is so freaking illegal." And he dumps it in the woods. And Shake runs away. He's like, "Who's going to arrest me? The trees?" <laughs> and, then the and they're trees using their skin as, par- as parchment. <laughs> Who's going to arrest me? The trees. The trees? <laughs> so freaking illegal. <laughs> this is so freaking illegal. illegal. <laughs> Carl is definitely like. Second to meet one of my favorite characters. Carl's the best. I love all the characters because they're all hilarious. They're amazing. And they're Meatwad and Carl are my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Carl gets the laser system. He's And then, like Frylock pulls him back before the lasers go off. He's like, come on, keep going. You were so close. <laughs> you were trying to kill him. <laughs> I like how Carl can... Oh, what's up? What's wrong with my car? And his car's just smashed up in the front. <laughs> I don't remember my car looking like this. <laughs> Shake man? Fry man? It's like, yeah, the police called. They said uh, the suspect uh, had yeah, like a straw apparatus on his head. Straw side. apparatus? That's what the police Yellow said. Yellow gloves? You know anyone like you that? You know anyone <laughs> like that, Fry man? <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking that I gotta piss for a minute. We're in hour seven. Oh shit, we are. Where do you see? Oh yeah. You wanna keep going? You wanna cut it? Keep going? What do you wanna do?